good. Hey, I am Brian Benchoff from Hack Day, and here we got Dan Linkston with um, the proper way to use 3D printers. So tell us what you did. So we were doing a group build of uh, 10 people, and it would take roughly 32 hours to do uh, to print a set of parts in normal uh, ABS uh, material. So we decided to use my background in molding and casting to take one set of ABS printed parts and make molds out of uh, using rubber to then cast the pieces in urethane. Um, and it cuts the production down time down to about three hours uh, for a set of parts. Uh, you could obviously do as many as you wanted to within that if you had enough molds. Um, and we think the parts are going to be stronger and more durable over time. Um, we're still experimenting with a couple of different things, but that's basically where we're going with it. So basically each part has its own mold, and you just put yeah. the resin. Yeah, so basically we, you know, depending on the part, I have either a series of, um, you know, these are like all the brackets for the, the printer, and we make the mold of it, we pour it in one shot so you get a whole set in one. Once you pop them out, you have to clean off some of the flashing and stuff, and then you know, sand a little bit if need be. Um, but like I said, it's you know, I found a resin that was fairly similar to ABS, so it has actually a little bit more flex to it. So this is printer, this is resin, so it breaks. <laughs> that was good. I've been flexing it all day. Edit that out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty okay. strong though. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. But you know, also where is it? The uh, HD you know, ABS breaks pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, uh, you don't know. Totally okay. stress test. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to do that, like video both. Okay, so there we go. Yeah. Okay, is that good? <laughs> yeah.